Welcome to another episode of the Need for Speed Most Wanted Mod Showcase, and possibly the last. I'll explain more at the end of the video, so don't worry. Uh, but in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at three different types of sedans that move, as I'm going to call it. The sedans that move episode. And we're going to be starting it with the Voxel Lotus Carlton. Basically, this is what happens when you... When you uh, are from Voxel and you ask Lotus, hey, take our Carlton and turn it into like a really quick sedan. And you get the Voxel Lotus Carlton. Uh, I tried to get the paint as close as I could to the original color. It's basically like a black with a very slight hint of green. The problem is it's, <laughs> it's not really anything that can uh, get that. Uh, in terms of body kits, there's really not much. You can choose to have, like, custom sort of license plates. I'm going to go with the second one because I prefer not there not being one in the front, just one in the back. It's not as appealing with it in the front. And then body four is just a repeat of uh, body one, I think. Okay, it's a slight different height. Kind of interesting why that would be a thing. And then body five, I'm going to guess it's the same thing. No, Body 5 is just a repeat of Body 3. There's no difference. But yeah, Body 2. Okay. Uh, you can also, of course, change wheels. And you can change the paint and all that stuff. No vinyl, sadly. But, uh, you know, I guess that's what you come to expect. Uh, this replaces the Lexus IS300, if I recall correctly. And I believe this was requested by The Real Emil. So, you know, because he was requested quite a few. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so... What I've been doing for for quite a while is uh, I've been taking these cars over to the uh, Petersburg track to make them go around, uh, you know, as fast as possible to get the uh, the fastest time I can get out of it and post it onto a leaderboard. Now, again, like I said, I'll explain more at the end of the video why say, saying things might uh, change up, but it's not exactly going to be like an end of mods. It'll all It'll, I'll go more into it by the end. But anyways, regardless of that, though, we're going to, you know, try to see what time we can achieve out with the uh, Carlton. And I must say, for sedans that move, whilst this would be a sedan that would move in real life, the Carlton going at this pace, in most wanted compared to the average, this isn't really moving. I mean, you know, it's, it's still, you know, decent enough, over 190 miles an hour. So, you know, when you're comparing it to most other cars in a regular sense, it's still good and, fire and fair and all of that, but in comparison to, you know, what the usual standard, what the usual common is for uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted here, this Carlton feels a bit sluggish. It doesn't exactly feel, you know, particularly very quick. And we, fin we start with a 109.68, which is not a very good lap. In fact, I'm going to be perfectly honest, I don't see this... I, I honestly don't see this Carlton doing anything better than uh, under than over one minute. It's I don't I, like a sub one minute just seems way way too unlikely, especially if I do that by accident. So we're just gonna let th we're just gonna throw this lap away. And in fact, let's see what is the top end that I can get it out of this car. A measly two hundred and eleven miles an hour. <laughs> Which is silly, because in most other cases, that's far from measly, but in this game, compared to what we've been seeing, even with even with uh, some of the regular cars in this game, it kind of is a bit measly, so, you know, oops. But, you know, regardless of that, though, that's just kind of how the situ- that's just kind of how the situation is. <laughs> oh my god, I am fucking all thing- all these things up today. Maybe no one. Maybe there's a reason I'm deciding this might be the last one. And again, like I said, I'll explain more at the end of the video. Uh, all right, let's see. What can we manage? Hopefully, we can at least get a clean lap out of this now. So let's just try to keep our momentum going here. Yeah, the car, at least the car handles fairly enough. It's not the best, but it's also, it's not too terrible either. I mean, it could have been much, it could have been, you know, much worse. And, in, you know, it all, it's also a car that doesn't sound like what it replaces. The IS-300 does not have this engine, though. 
I think this is the same note that, like, the Audi A4 uses or something, or the TT, or something like that. Like, I know the Audis use it. I, I think with the exception of the A3, I can't, e I can't even remember now. It's been a while since I've driven those cars. And we get a 102.28 there, which is all right. I suppose, well, for in terms of what I'm, again, what I'm going to be able to probably get out of this car. I just, I'm just, I'm just going to try to really push it now for this last lap. You know, that was, that was fine. That was, you know, generally okay. Not the best, though. I bonked the wall last time doing this, so... And unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to do it again. Sorry, but I needed to use it a bit because I lost some speed. And just to be a bit fair to it. And of course, those are some very, very light taps anyway. So it's not like they, not like it's going to be a huge deal. Yeah, you can probably tell where I am mentally right now with this whole thing. So, but again, at the end of the video. Won't try to, won't be, I won't try to say that too much. But, you know, the car is generally fine. Just... If you like this sort of thing, then the, you know the Carlton may be for you. And if, but if not, then if you don't like its speed, then you might be better off looking uh, elsewhere. No, nah, well, jeez, that was like a full second back. Oh God. Okay, well, 102.28 is the time that we managed to achieve with the Carlton as the best. So that's going to be what we settle with. Anyways, next up we have is a car that I actually put into myself because I wanted to see how it would do. It is the Mercedes-Benz 190E Evolution 2, or 190E 2.516 Evolution 2. It's a very long name. Uh, this has been personally been one of my favorite sedans for a long time. I've always personally enjoyed the 190E. It's, a, it's of course, a really well well renowned uh touring car from the nine of the of the uh, early 90s like late 80s early 90s and you know the 190e was incredibly successful especially i think in the original dtm it's it's got a bit of a legacy to it towards it. a lot of people think remember this car fondly including me and that's why we got it out uh this car has a, at least a few more customization options you can a, you can actually change the wing of this car if you want which is pretty cool uh, wheels, of course. Uh, nothing. For, I don't believe there's anything for the hoods. Nope. Uh, roof scoops, which you already know my status on that. <laughs> and you know, of course, the paint. Obviously, no vinyl, sadly. But you know, at least there's a few more things you can do with the 190E, but not as much. Uh, this replaces the Chevrolet Cobalt SS. I think there was another one that from that was early, earlier May that replaces the. Uh, if I remember, replaces the. CLK 500, but this is this is a newer one that replaces the Cobalt. So that has an interesting engine note too. It's a bit it's a bit throaty. It's definitely not the Cobalt sound, but I I like it. It's something sounds pretty neat. And I must say, once so far, what I'm noticing right now, wow, the handling on this car is really good. Actually, it's pretty damn sharp. It, I don't know. It may, have just, it may have just been because I came. I just came out. No, definitely not. This thing definitely has sharp turning. It's really damn good with the handling. I mean, I suppose for it being a, you know, a touring car legend, you would have probably expect it to. But, you know, this exceeds what I was probably even imagining. This is, this is really damn good. This is this can be a this is going to be a decent lap maker. This uh, 190e, which is fine because I really like the 190e. So, you know. And, you know, it's nice to have a good Mercedes-Benz, you know, because what it seems to be is not a lot of Mercedes-Benz cars in this game tend to do fairly well. You know, the SR McLaren was probably the closest of which, and the other ones are just all kind of bad. And I don't remember what other Mercedes-Benz mods I've tested. I know I've... T I mean, I obviously don't include the McLaren Mercedes MP429, because that's a Formula 1 car. You would expect it to do good regardless. And to be fair, that car is just, like, ridiculous. It goes way faster than any Formula car should, and has never been dethroned. And, probably, and considering the status, probably never will. In fact, even if... Uh, even before I started thinking... Maybe maybe things were needed for a change. Even Game was had told meant had admitted telling me that he personally does not think any car is going to top that uh, MP4-29. I mean, the only car that has gotten around the track faster is the uh, Red Bull X1 mod, 
But then again, that that only happened because it was redone by someone else, meaning it's not exactly uh, orig as originally intended for the the ori the whereas the MP429 was originally intended for to be that fast. So, you know, but this is the red the Red Bull technically has gone around this track faster than anything, but the MP429 is the fastest uh, uh, without having a attributes file change. Kind of fucked that one up a little bit. But yeah, basically, you know. I must say, this 190E is really nice. Sounds, co sounds cool. Uh, decent power. Very nice handling. Now, if only I could utilize that a bit better, to be honest. That's why I'm giving it, like, little nitrous staff to try to recover a little bit. But yeah, look at that. 54.90. That's a pretty decent lap, I must say. Even with the little hiccups I had. And here we go. Nicely done. Kept it over 160 before the jump. That's fairly good enough. And even around there, kept it uh, or at 160. Just pretty good. Ooh, managed to take that at just over 180. That was pretty good. I'm definitely, I've definitely, so far this lap definitely looks like it'll be the best. If I can keep it. This car also seems to have a weird issue with some of the bumps. I'm noticing the uh, suspension gets a bit... The suspension tends to get a bit, uh... A bit shaky. Like, it kind of, it feels like it's kind of making contact in a... In a way. So, I guess you have to be careful with it, maybe? I don't know. But regardless, that is... Uh, this is a fairly solid car. I really like the way it drives. And we finished with a 54.32. Which is... A Excellent lap, excellent time. Very, very impressed with the uh, result of the 190E there. Definitely something I, I like. Also, this is, this is just made the loading feel like it's it's taking a little bit longer there. That's a bit weird. Uh, that's not normal. Anyways, final car up for today is the Porsche Panamera Turbo. This is the 2017 model, so it is the newer one. It's probably a Forza Horizon 3 model up for all I know, unless it's from another game, which would probably also make sense. Uh, but yeah, the Panamera Turbo. Uh, I, I've, I've always personally thought it was fairly interesting. The first one, you know, it's admittedly pretty ugly, especially in the back. Uh, this newer one definitely cleans it up a lot nicer. Uh, this red is actually a uh, one of those. It's this is another one of those cars where the paint is actually uh, the paint is actually different. It is because a cont it's a contest vinyl paint. Uh, so it's one of those ones that has like the five, and I just went with the red one because it looks nice. And apparently the other body option seems to be raising that wing. Either in like a full out thing like this or kind of like that. Which kind of, which personally kind of flows with the car a little bit better. I don't, because this one I don't know if that's even possible. I don't think. So look, let's, let's, uh, let's go with the body too then. Because this looks a little more accurate. And so yeah, you, like I mentioned, you can put vinyls on it. There, you you actually can properly map vinyls. It's not just the paint stuff. Vinyls are properly mapped to this car. So if you want vinyls on your like the regular vinyls on your Panamera Turbo, then you can do just that. It has no problem with that. And also, uh, it it all. I notice it also has like a special like kind of vinyl in the unique section, like the first the uh, black edition unique vinyl. I, I, I can't really explain say what it's what it is because I, I never know what their things are called but you know so this replaces the end this so anyways onto the car now this replaces the Subaru Impreza WRX STI and I kind of forget off the top of my head who particularly requested the Panamera Turbo I'll have, I'll find out once we go over to the leaderboard though so this apparently has a very the sound of this is fairly similar to the uh, I want to say the GTO or Venara, but I don't quite think it's... I don't quite think that'd be correct. I'm trying to recall, like, what... It, like, this remi like the sound of this reminds me of something. I'm not quite sure what, though. Uh, ah, well. No big deal, really. Uh, how does this car perform? Pretty good. I'd say it's... I'd say the 190E was probably just, you know, still that little bit better. Oh, whoops. Uh, but the... Uh, the 190E was probably that little bit better, but the Panamera does seem to be doing a fairly good job. It's 
you know, it's very grippy. In fact, I was able to do that at over 165, which is excellent. You know, I could have done that maybe a little bit closer, but that wasn't quite 180 like I was able to do with the 190E, but still, fairly nice. And I must say, the one thing I'm noticing kind of so far is it's kind of, whilst this car does handle good, it also kind of has a bit more steering speed. Like, it kind of moves a bit more with lighter movements than uh, some of the other cars I've been, I've uh, tested before. You know, so. Ugh. That wasn't exactly the prettiest, but we did get a 56.57 there, so. You know, not not too bad. Now if I can just find oh, that the way to get a little bit extra time. Oh, that might not be exactly the way to do it, but that was close. Oh god, jeez. Oh, Trying to do this is you know, like I said, this car really seems to turn a bit sharper than I, I I am trying to make it turn. So, you know, it, it it's a bit fidget it's a bit fidgety because of that. But you know, so, but you know, I'm just trying to do what I can here. You know, that was that wasn't too bad there. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, what are we gonna get here? Fifty-seven point one two. Okay, this isn't that's this time isn't as good. So let's let's try to make it a little better. Can I make it a bit better? I mean, I'm sure I can, but you know, I just have to make sure that everything goes to plan. Okay, that was a little bit better. It wasn't you know wasn't the best, but you know. Definitely more manageable. And that could have been better, to be honest. But, you know, at least I kept it off the wall, so, you know, better than nothing. Man, I guess this, even the Panamera seems to have that same problem with that, with the way, where that, uh, jump area, where that downhill section kind of ends. It, uh, the 190E had the same thing in the Panamera. Just kind of, the suspension acts a bit funny. It's a bit interesting. And, you know, again, not exactly the prettiest around that section, but was that at least the best lap? Yes, it was. 56.31. We managed to shave off just a little bit extra time. All right, nice. So, you know, we had one car that was a bit disappointing, and then two car but then uh, finished it off with two cars that did fairly well. So, you know, I, I guess in, in the sense of this episode, you know, having two cars that do fairly well is is always nice anyways let's go over to the leaderboard now and so now over onto the leaderboard and of course the 190e was the fastest car of the day in 71st place with a time of 54.32 and i do apologize i thought it was really the only mercedes-benz that really went this fast with the exception of the mp429 Look at what it was just below it in 72nd, the SLR 722. And then if you go a bit higher in 58, the CLK GTR AMG. So I kind of fucked, I kind of flubbed that a bit, so oops. But yeah, it did beat the SLR 722, 718 Cayman S, F1 LM, XP1, and Rental Sport RSL1. Just a little bit off, though, on the M ND MX5 and Ferrari FXX and Selena's 281. Whoops. Anyways, <laughs> uh, the, the Porsche Panamera Turbo came in 106th place. It was requested, by the way, by Optimistic Camelson. I really like that name. Uh, with a time of 56.31, it is 100th faster than the 2009 SSE Ultimate Aero and it just edges out the likes of the Corvette Stingray Concept and Hyundai Veloster Turbo and RX-7 and all the likes. And it just comes behind the F650 XLT, Porsche 911 Carrera S, and Chrysler ME412. And finally, the slowest of the day easily was the Vauxhall Lotus Carlton, with a 1 minute 2.28, putting it in 196th place. It does at least beat the Porsche Cayman GT4, Aventador J, and Batmobile, and all that stuff. But it's off of the M4 Coupe, MX5 NC, and SRT Viper. Now, the thing that I wanted to explain at the end of the video here was that the reason I potentially say that the episode that I have just, that you have just been watching uh, may be the last is because uh, over the last little while, even before I had uh, closed down requests, uh, I was losing interest in this series. 
And what I mean more or less, more, uh, more accurately is, whilst I still enjoy making videos of these cars with the mods, I've kind of been losing the interest in driving them around this track over and over and over again. As you see, I've done about 209 cars, and whilst I want to still make videos of car mods for Need for Speed Most Wanted, I kind of want to switch it up. I want it to show off more things, to show that, you know, they're not they're more than capable of just going around that track. So, what I think I'm going to do in the future is I'm still going to go through the list of cars that I have, and I'm going to... But with that current list of cars, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch things up and I'm going to uh, show different videos. Like maybe I'll do different tracks, like maybe uh, other circuits against other cars, uh, sprints, maybe a drag. Not really drag very often. I don't like to drag that much in this game. Uh, lap knockout, speed trap, toll booth, or even put it up against a blacklist opponent or even put it up in a pursuit race, you know, try to escape the cops. Uh, there's just a lot of uh, ideas I want to do with it to kind of, because I just kind of got bored of doing this uh, track so many times. Um, that doesn't mean I, I will permanently move away from this. If uh, I ever come across a car mod that I make a video of and you guys want me to drive it around the track, I can make like a quick video and just show what it does. It'll just, it'll just show the time. Uh, probably won't show a leaderboard, but... Uh, I will still put it in the leaderboard, and I'll always include the link in it if you want to see exactly, you know, exactly where it would rank anyways. But on basically, the thing is, is I want to be able to be a little bit more creative with showing off the cars uh, rather than just doing the same thing over and over and over again like I've been doing uh, for almost a, almost a year and a half now. Crazy enough to think. So I do hope you guys understand, uh, but... And what this really can mean is I probably will have more videos uh, frequently with these mods because of just how this stuff works. So that is at least one thing to look forward to regarding it. But in the meanwhile, uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments regarding it. If you want to check out the link to this uh, to this leaderboard as well as the other mods, it's in the description as well as links to my Twitter, my Twitch, my Patreon if you want to donate, my forum board if you want to join, or if you want to submit clips for the highlight reel, because episode 2 could still use a few more clips. It would definitely help because, you know, I really like uh, making a highlight reel. It's become one of my favorite things to do, even though I only may release one episode. It's just fun to watch uh, what people can manage in games. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned. But yeah, stay tuned for more. Uh, Again, just let me know what you guys think, and as always, uh, regardless, thank you guys so much for watching, and take care.